How cute is he when he's standing, looking out throughout the window? Hello my friends and welcome back to another vlog. I haven't done a vlog in a while, I'm sorry for that, but I'm back now. So I just got back from the gym uh, and I'm cooking myself some breakfast. So I don't have breakfast every day, but today I'm going to have some breakfast. And I'm going to have, oh my god, my hair looks like a mess. I'm going to have a no makeup makeup day today. No makeup makeup, no makeup day. Today and tomorrow I am going to the studio. So then I'm going to have my full face done. So I'm going to rest my skin a little bit today. So today I am just going to be home. So it's not going to be the most fun vlog today, maybe. But tomorrow I'm going to be in the studio and uh, filming and uh, taking photos and things for different brands and for my social media. Look how big Enzo is now. He is a little bit taller than Troy. It's a little bit higher and a little bit longer, but he weighs 4.8 kilo and Troy is 5.4, so he's still a little bit heavier. But this little one is growing. Enzo. I think that's Troy's bed. That one is yours. So yeah, the situation with this one's. He is so playful. <laughs> he loves to... Are you allowed to have your bones up in the sofa? No. Come down. Come down here. Come on, Enzo. Oh my god. So he is six months. He's a handful, but it's very fun also. So um, yeah, it's time to have some breakfast. As soon as I crack an egg, he's coming for the eggshells. He loves eggshells. And Troy, he couldn't bother. Like, I always give Troy, but he takes it, spit it out. Oh, now he's actually chewing a little bit now. He's going to spit it out. And he's just waiting for Troy to leave the eggshell. Oh! Are you going to eat it today, Troy? Just because I'm filming. Baby. Okay. And there Enzo took it. Baby. Look at these two. At least they're friends now. In the beginning, Troy was not a big fan, but he's starting to accept and like Enzo now when he's bigger. So I just got out from the shower and I'm gonna sit down and work a little bit now. Uh, with today's video, I saw that I had the skin smoother on before. Now I turn it off, <laughs> but I forgot to turn it off on my new camera. So um, yeah. Um, I'm going to sit down, do the thumbnail for today's video. Today is Wednesday, so I have a review video going up. And uh, then do some study, I think. Uh, I have a lot of study to do, so. Yeah, I'm gonna let my hair dry. I always let it air dry. I never blow dry it, more or less. So, yeah. I mean, it's not so fun vlog videos when I'm just working from home. I'm wearing shine Benna high cloud with a cardigan on top my go-to if i'm not in my soft pants when i'm at home so yeah i'm gonna sit down and work a little bit 
So I'm taking a little break. I am going to eat a bar and I just got the package. So I am going to unbox it. It's from my latest order from Urban Revival. So I am going to do a new review, but I'm going to unbox it now for you. Don't forget to drink water. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put you here and I'm going to open the package. I did do a review before, so now I have some new things and I'm very excited. I was so much in love with their like um, cardigans, so I ordered a few more of them. Look at this one. This is like a cropped one. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay, that was a super weird angle on the camera. I'm going to put you up a little bit more. So. Here is one cardigan, looking nice. I love the details. I was so surprised about the quality of their clothes. Here is like a longer one. This is going to look awesome, I think. Don't you think? Feels super nice. And one more, and then I think that one is a dress, like a. Um, I'm going to take this first, like a, a blazer dress. Hopefully, this is going to work for me. I have been looking for a blazer dress in forever, so I hope this is going to fit me perfectly. And then this one. Very cute, like look at this little details. So I am going to do a new review of these new items and uh, stay tuned for that review. So now I am going to take a bar. Usually I don't eat so much bars and things. I usually try to eat normal food, but I am feeling for something sweet, so I'm going to take a bar, even though this is without sugar, but they do have sweeteners. So this is a chocolate, just plain chocolate bar. So I'm going to eat that, and I'm going to continue to work a little bit. I just finished the thumbnail and everything, and uh, yeah, I need to, I need to do a little study, and then I'm going out for a walk because the weather is kind of nice outside. It's sun, so. A little bit more. I wanted to show you my outfit. So this has been my vibe lately. Like some activewear. It's purple, but it's looking brown in the middle. And then just something on top like this. Higher stockings. My at home chill. So I'm going to take a very very late lunch. It's almost it's two o'clock already, but I have a pre-made casserole here. Uh, it's a vegetarian one. Usually I have this with halloumi, but I'm not gonna have halloumi to it now because I am probably gonna eat dinner in like three three or four hours. So I'm just gonna have it like this. It's so easy to have a thing to just preheat. Usually I do like, um, it's like this. So usually I am making like meal prep for lunches, if I have lunches, and then I am making the dinner. And today for dinner, I'm going to have salmon. So I'm going to eat this now. And then I'm going to go out with this very playful dogs that is very bored. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then I'm going to study a little bit more and um, it's almost time for dinner and things. So time is running so fast. I'm gonna reheat this, eat it quickly, and then go out with the dogs. So here we have it. it might not look super nice, but it's very tasty. It's with black beans, beetroot, meats, corns, chickpeas, a little bit of everything in here. So bon appetit! How cute is he when he's standing, looking out throughout the window? 
I love sometimes when I am coming from the gym and I'm coming from that direction and I can see him standing in the window waiting for me. Very cute. So I just went out with the boys and picked up two more packages. So one is from AIM Sportswear, that is a Swedish brand and I made a purchase from them the day before yesterday. So it's a very fast delivery. And the other thing, I think it's false nails. I ordered false nails from AliExpress. I'm gonna open them and see. So I haven't tried AIM Sportswear in a long time. So I think I'm going to do a review, but I'm gonna open it now and see. So I am going to open this very carefully because I might return something. I might not keep everything here. Let's see. So I did order two sets, that is seamless sets, and I ordered one in brown and one in white. And I am not sure if I am going to like this white one. I am on the hunt for a pair of white leggings that is not showing cellulite so much and that is um, not see-through. This actually feels very good. I'm going to try it, but uh, it also came in with a sports bra. I bought the white set with a sports bra and the brown set I bought with the crop top. So I think they look very nice. As you can see, it is in this little more like ribbed, thicker type of fabric. I really hope that it's going to be nice. And then the leggings to it. And then I bought some leggings that I think it's their classical leggings. They were on sale, so they were super affordable. So I wanted to try them out. And uh, yeah, I'm very curious to try out. This active wear, as I said, I've never tried. No, I have tried their active wear, but not in a very long time. So I'm curious to try it out, but I think I might return something if it's not perfect fit. I'm gonna keep the tags on for now and I'm gonna try it on and we are going to see. So now let's open this because I do think I have ordered a lot of things from AliExpress. As I always do, I always purchase a lot of things from Aliexpress. And this is the first time I'm purchasing false nails. And I think that is what's in this package, yes. So, it is a lot of this like clip on nails that I am going to try in many different colors and very curious to try it out. So yeah, it's a lot of different ones that I am going to use. Oh, those were a little bit too spacey, but yeah, some very long ones. I haven't had nails in a very long time, but I might do some just like for fun. So that's, that's what I have been ordering. So I put on the nails. I haven't had nails in so long. It was just this like clip on so I can take them off if I want to. I'm gonna see how they hold up. So now I am going to pack for what I need to bring to the studio. This uh, thing's the Urban Outfitter that I showed you. I am going to uh, photo shoot and film try on and then I have a lot of other things and um, I'm going to try on the AIM ones and see if I am going to do a review, if I like them. So yeah, I have a little bit of things to do here and then I'm going to fix my hair. I always try to fix my hair the day before I go to the studio so it can like settle. You see how flat my hair is when I'm not doing anything with it. It's just super flat so I like to add some volume that I'm gonna cook, so I have a little bit of everything to do. 
Like always, when I'm gonna go to the studio, I have a million and ten things that I have packed to film. So I'm gonna see if I even gonna be able to film all of this and take photos and things. But I really like my nails. I am growing into the nail situation. What do you think about it? Let me know if you like nails. I haven't had them in so many years now. Hello, boys. Are you bored? <laughs> Hello. Hello, boys. <laughs> he has one ear that is standing right up and one that is flipped. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna finish off here. Thursday, uh, I have makeup on, I'm in the studio today, so full day in the studio, horrible light so far, I haven't been able to set up the lighting, my hair is, uh, I don't even know what to call this, I did fix my hair, but I didn't finish it off, and now it looks just weird, I will have to finish this a little bit more and fix it, so I will be in the studio the whole day today, filming, taking pictures, doing work, and yeah. So today, obviously, it's not a no makeup day. But uh, yeah, I need to really set in because I have so much things. I mean, I am never in a million year going to be able to film and take photos of all of these things that I brought, but I really need to try, so I need to get started now so i think i am going to get back to vlogging when i am finished here because i really need to rush through this at least i need to rush through getting the settings and the, like set up and everything done so that's what i'm gonna do now and then i'm gonna try to do something with this hair that is oh my god not looking good today So I have been filming the whole day and I have to finish up now because, oh my god, the light is horrible like that. I need to finish up because um, I just have half an hour left and, oh my god, crazy hair. And I just need to take some photos in this outfit and then I need to pack everything up. Um, and it takes like half an hour and uh, four o'clock I need to be out from here because then someone else has the studio so I need to pack up my things right now. almost 10 o'clock it's friday and i have been to the gym i've been having breakfast i had the same breakfast as i showed you here a few days ago the avocado and things 
and uh, now i am going to i just finished unpacking everything that i took with me to the studio yesterday and i'm having a no makeup day today again to make my skin rest a little bit after being in the studio yesterday so today i am going to study and i'm gonna go through the material that i made in the studio yesterday so uh, i uh, I have a lot to do and I think I'm going to summarize the video. I'm going to show you my Lululemon hoodies that I've been talking about. Um, so I'm going to show you them and then I am going to summarize this video because I uh, need to edit it on Sunday and tomorrow on Saturday I'm going to be away the whole day and doing exams from the morning until the evening. So I'll not have any more time to film, but I am going to show you. By the way, I jumped into my Lululemon Lion leggings. It was a while since I used my original Lululemon Lion leggings, honestly. Still love them. But my newest Lululemon addiction, except for my jacket, but the, the jacket I already shown you in another video. But the thing is, when I was buying the jacket, I uh, didn't have, because I bought the jacket in September and I didn't have any fur everywhere from and so um and i didn't have any hoodie so i just randomly took a hoodie in the lululemon store put it on and it was this black one i've been living in that hoodie ever since it was in september and i get a lot of people asking me like both when they see me wear this hoodie in my vlogs and like on an everyday like where is that from it's a very nice one and it's from lululemon so i decided to buy two more this red color and this gray so i'm going to show you how they are looking on and i also have it in two different sizes because the gray and the black i have in size eight but the six were run out in size eight so i got it in size six and to be honest it's not so much of a difference so i'm going to put them on and we're going to see how they are looking on they are just amazing uh, i don't remember the name of it it was like scuba hoodie i think Okay, so this might not be the most flattering angle, but here is the black one. And I mean, they have so nice details. Really loving this house. First of all, look at this. Like, all the way up like this. They are a little more pricier, but the fit and everything is just amazing. Loving this hoodie. It's okay, I'm gonna put my hair up. This was way too hard to do with my hair down. Yeah, so here we have the black one. This is a size 8, fits me perfectly. And I like that it's a little bit longer. It's not super short, it's a little bit longer, and it's also very long in the arms. So I'm going to put on the gray one. So here is the gray. loving this with the contrast color in black and you can see like here the details here is very nice and I also like the details on the hood like you have the little lemon logo here looks very nice super nice fit I like like they have the seams and everything it's like shaping it's very nice and then the red one so this one just got in the mail i ordered it so i just got it two days ago so i haven't used it yet so i still have the tag here scuba full sip hoodie here is the tag for it so here you see size six is a tiny bit tighter still working it's not too stiff or like tight around my chest area still working perfectly the size 6 maybe is the perfect size for me size 8 is a little more fluffy so if i am going to buy any more of these which i might do in some more fun colors in the future they are a little bit more expensive so i buy some here and there not too many at the same time and uh, i am going to buy size 6 because i do like the fit of this but i do like to have the black and the gray in a little more fluffy fit so i really like them by the way my nails are still there 
which is surprising because I thought since I only used this like tape thing, I thought that they were going to go off super quickly. And uh, it's only this finger that I removed myself because I didn't want to have the purple pink thing. I wanted to have this gold instead. So I was actually kind of surprised how good they are staying because I only used like this. It's like tape that you pop it on. So surprisingly good. And I have been like in the studio taking on and off clothes for a full day. I've been to the gym two times, showering two times. Like it's not like I've been careful. So yeah, I can definitely recommend them if you're on hunt for nails. So I think I'm gonna summarize this video. Thank you so much for watching. You have all the information about everything that I talked about in the description box down below. And I hope I'm gonna see you in my coming videos. But until then, take care and bye.